Class sample problem. What volume of 0.25 moles per liter of sodium chloride will precipitate the silver from 50.0 milliliters of 0 0.10 moles per liter of silver nitrate solution? Our equation, we have, we're combining silver nitrate with sodium chloride. So we're going to have AgNO3 plus NaCl to form NaNO3 plus AgCl. After you've written out your equation, what are you going to do? You want to balance it. So let me save you that, uh, that method. It's already balanced. So nice and easy. Right? So what do we have? We have 0 0.25 moles per liter of sodium chloride. We have 50 milliliters of 0 0.10 uh, moles per liter of silver nitrate. So if we're using stoichiometry methods, We've got AgNO3. We've got sodium chloride. We know we have moles. We have molecules. So we have how many molecules of each one? Well, we have one and one, right? That's because the balance equation just has the number one in front of it. Number of moles of these are what we need to try to find. But with what we're given, we can actually find them. Can I find the number of moles using that? Yes, I can. Remember what the equation was. Concentration is equal to the number of moles over the volume. So if I want to find out the number of moles of sodium, uh, sorry, of silver nitrate, right, I want to isolate for my N. So N is equal to my concentration times my volume. So my concentration is 0 0.10 moles per liter times, we want to convert 50.0 milliliters to liters, and it's 0 0.05 liters. When we multiply the two together, we get the number of moles of so, uh, silver nitrate, which is 0 0.005 moles. So we have 0 0.005. 0, 5 moles. We want to find out the number of moles that it, that it will react with, right? How much silver nitrate is going to react with the sodium chloride based on what we have. This is what we have. We're going to be mixing it with this amount. The one thing that they must have in common is what? The number of moles. So their number of moles must be in common. So we have to find the number of moles of our sodium chloride. But because the ratio is one to one, we don't really have to, to figure anything out because as you said, exactly, they're equal. So whatever the number of moles is for this, because it's a one to one ratio, is the number of moles of sodium chloride. So we have N of sodium chloride, is also equal to 0 0.005 moles. So the number of moles of silver nitrate that are reacting in this equation is that amount based on this concentration over here. So that many moles of silver nitrate is going to react with this many moles of silver nitrate. But the only thing is, 
it's got a different concentration. So we have as follows. We know we have 0 0.25 moles per liter. So we want to figure out, let me rewrite this in this form, in one liter. We have 0 0.005 moles, but what do we have? The volume of the silver nitrate that's being used. Right? So that is what we're trying to find. That is our unknown. So we want to rearrange this equation. So we can have x up at the top, right? So we're going to bring x over. Yeah? This is the silver nitrate the sodium chloride. Now we're, now we're focusing. We've, because what we've done was we've found the number of moles of sodium chloride. We know that we've got this many moles of silver nitrate that's going to react, and we've tried to figure out how many moles of, um, of the sodium chloride we're using. Now we're trying to figure out how much of it, based on this concentration, how many liters are actually going to be used, or how many milliliters are actually going to be used. Well, you kind of said, uh, Did I say, sorry. Sorry. So what we're doing is we're switching the x's, because we, we always want our unknown up in a numerator if we have it in a fraction form. 0 0.005 moles. We want to bring this 0.25 moles down here. And we're bringing this 1 liter over here. So times 1 liter, which isn't going to really affect anything. But when we divide our units, what is the volume? that we're left with 0 0.02 liters. So now that 0 0.02 liters, we want to convert it to milliliters, which comes out to how many milliliters? 20 milliliters. What are the least number of significant digits in my question? Two. So how many do I have, though, in my answer? But how many did I have here? What did we get? Did it come out to 0 0.02 exact? Yeah. yeah. So what do we have to do now? We don't have two significant digits. I can do the following. Right? I can do 20.0 milliliters right? to add a significant digit. But that now goes from one significant digit to three significant digits. So how do I get that middle scientific notation? So two, sorry, or 20 milliliters can be rewritten as 2.0 times 10 to the power of two milliliters. Is it two? No. Two point zero times ten to the power of one milliliters. So what volume of this concentration, right? So we're mixing this concentration of sodium chloride with this concentration of silver nitrate. Right, let me